Thank you very much indeed. Standing by with perks of G2, and I don't want to make this too long, but I did want to give you a chance to say something because it hasn't been easy for you guys. What would you just like to say, or, or why are you, how are you reflecting on what happened here at Worlds for G2? Uh, well, honestly, I just want to say sorry to all fans that uh, believed in us and that supported us and that we showed up so poorly uh, every game besides the last one. And uh, I don't know what exactly happened, uh, but... <laughs> But I think this is just make us stronger for the longer run. And one tournament, uh, it just sucks, but uh, yeah. Yeah, big apologies uh, from you. Perks, where does G2 go from here? Uh, well, we will stick together and uh, we will just look uh, to improve ourselves and become a better team for the future. And uh, I'm sad we couldn't show more, but I'm sure we can show a lot more in the future. So. Thank you very much. It takes a lot to come up here and say that. Thank you very much, Perks. And back over to you guys at the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Shox. G2 able to pick up a win here to close out their tournament, although it wasn't what they wanted for their group stage. They do secure it. And, uh, you know, this only just serves to make the group more interesting, to, to be honest, as it, it's not going to be a &X that has that first seed lock just yet. Yeah, plenty of possibilities here. Uh, the last game matters so much. Just shortly before we move on, just reflecting on the tournament, it has to hurt for G2. Come on, after MSI, they played so well during the entire split. A lot of people that are watching G2 right now may not follow Europe's Coast. Like, they dominated. They were by far the best team. Mythians then on paper were called best spot lane in Europe, at times best spot lane in the West, and the complete collapse here must hurt them. I personally hope that they fix it from a point of communication in game and out of game, get a sports psychologist or somebody with, with more coaching and more infrastructure for G2, because I feel these players have the potential, but they were seriously like, yeah, not set up to succeed. I don't want to make excuses for him, but you know, Perks is a 17 year old kid at the end of the day. And you know, he's come so far. Uh, and you know, I, I, I agree with all the points about, you know, if you talk to talk, you have to be able to yeah. walk the walk. But at the same time, I think that, you know, two tournaments, he's a very young mid laner. I still think he's a superstar. He'll probably, he'll definitely bounce back. Yeah, and I definitely think that that actually, because of his age and because of, you know, where he's at, that having somebody like a sports psychologist on staff is even more necessary because you need guidance in that and able to actually go through a lot of conflicts that you're going to naturally have with your team and being able to talk things out and improve your communication. Because it's so easy to say if you can't take the heat stay out of the kitchen and Perks, by all means, when he went ham on social media when he was performing well and he was like the banter in you, but it's really easy to get sucked into that culture, especially over in Europe, the way the pro players interact, that he's now kind of discovering like the bad side, what happens when you start losing, because then fans, like they're ruthless and hopefully he takes that as a learning experience and just the entire team matures a little bit and they improve as a whole because... Europe needs them to be strong. Plenty of time for growth and evolution out of them. Player of the game this time around going to Mithy. Lots of clutch moves in team fights. You know, as a veteran support, you would look to him in a game like this on the world stage to kind of pull it together, bring the team in for their final victory. Yeah, Mithy known to be super calm, good macro, good clutch movements, but we didn't see it in groups. Luckily, it came out a little bit in the last game, but this was against a severely weakened Abos Nox Luna as well, who had played just that, like, thriller game against, against the Rocks Tigers here, so... All right, well, you hear it behind oh. us because the crowd is cheering for it. They wanted to hear from Albus Knox Luna. So now for a word with our first quarter finalist. Let's send it back to Shox. Thank you very much. And we had to talk to Albus Knox Luna here. I didn't get a chance before. Uh, Liquid, first off, you wanted to start by saying something about G2 specifically? Yeah, sure. Uh, like, I asked Shox to give me an opportunity to say that, guys, G2 did a really good job. Yes? They failed. Yes, they could do better. But, but, when they had nothing, literally no reason to play, they could just surrender. They could just go team or go full aram. Yes, it would be funny, but they have shown their competitive spirit and they fought until the very end. And you know, guys, when everyone hates you, everyone thinks that you, that you don't deserve to represent the region, and you find the strength inside of you to fight, even if it doesn't matter. That's really cool, guys. Thank you, G2. Um, I can't help but think when I hear you talking about finding the strength within yourself, representing your region, you must be talking about what ANX has shown here so far. Um, what does it mean for you to show everyone up, show everyone wrong, and find it within yourselves to advance to the quarterfinals? Well... 
<laughs> you know, guys, like when we actually realized that we are getting to quarterfinals, it was really hard to believe because, you know, we came here expecting 0 06. We came here without real preparation. We didn't boot camp in Korea and we were like, okay, guys, we'll just come and play our game. But today, today, we are in, in quarterfinals for sure. And all I want to say is that, hey, guys, we are from Wildcar. And they have said, told you before, being underdog doesn't mean being a loser. That's all. I'm, uh, I'm a bit lost. <laughs> uh, very inspirational world, uh, words so far. Um, I do want to ask you one more question about that game versus Rocks because that was insanity. Where did the shot calling come from in the end? And, and it looked like you guys might give it away right at the end because it was so incredibly close. Where did you find it within yourself to make the right moves, sneak that, uh, that Elder Dragon all of a sudden? Well, Kira said that, hey guys, I can do solo Drake. And Stash was like, Kira, why? Don't. Why, 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 why are you trying to do this? That's a bad call. But other team was like, no, Kira, go, go do your stuff. That's actually a cool idea. And after we just went, sneaked the dragon, and that was the second moment which actually led us to the victory. And first one, props to the Smurf, when he survived to three man gank, which actually led us to killing Kate and to get Nasher. So, another thing I want to say it's not connected to Rogue's game, but more to our performance and our team. Four of our Team members were chosen as MVPs of, of their games, and we still have one guy who still deserves his hype. You cheering for him. It's like, I want, to, I want to ask you guys to cheer for a miracle. He did an awesome job. Maybe, maybe. He doesn't, he doesn't look like... He doesn't look like a crazy AD carry or a guy who carries, but actually he is part of the team spirit. He's the guy who never give up, gives up, and he is the guy who always, even if he is far, far behind, tries to find an opportunity to win. So, guys, all I want to say is that yes, our team looks strong. Some of players sometimes look stronger, but we, are, uh, we all are a team, and Miracle is a big part of it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> And thank you very much, Liquid and Albux Knox Luna. We'll see you guys in the quarterfinals, but we still have a score left to settle. CLG versus Rocks after the break for that final spot from Group A in the quarterfinals. Don't go anywhere. Oh, oh no, the ward's there, but where's it? Where are you going to go? Oh, oh, you gotta go. go. Oh. Exhaust is down. Mithy can't save. Nice. He's like, you sure, you sure, you sure, you sure, you sure, you sure. Good, 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 good. Oh, Electric doesn't know about that. Oh, no, that's bad news, Bears. Oh, oh. he's into them. Perk down here as well. Damage in the front side is nice from the rise, and here comes the back. He's gonna play clean up. Ulti is not quite enough. Once one doesn't get it as the Repel moves down, and a Miracle's gonna cut it out, but Kira goes down to Perks. Perks maybe with a catch. That's big damage. Two items there for the rise. Ulti. Oh, that's it. He perks! Huge play! Trick gets Cocoon, but Mithy gonna save the day and expects in the back line. Gonna get a one, gonna look to hop down and try and get another. Aurelia goes ballistic in the team fight. G2 will take it, and X will pick up another loss.